Hello and welcome to our live workshop Wednesdays. Um, we're live here from our London workshop and we're coming straight out to you to teach you all about jigs, okay? So just to give you a bit of background of what we do as an organisation, we teach people to build bicycles here and we also offer home build kits. And what I'm going to do today is a lot of people get really, really confused with bicycle jigs. They're really expensive, they're really complicated. And what I'm going to try and do is break down some of those myths around them. And then if you are building at home with a home build, I'm going to try and give you some tips of how to make sure that your bicycle is really well aligned and how to manipulate the jig to work for you, okay? What I'm going to start with, I'm going to get rid of this one for now. Okay, just pop that down there because I'm going to come to that next. And also, if you're at home and you've had a tough week and the nights are getting dark and you're feeling a bit tired, I'm going to start with a beer. So if you're at home, join me for a beer. Um, we've got the Ebel Twin Brewery today. I hope this pail finds you well, is the opening caption. So as ever, I've got my bamboo mug, which I find adds a little bit more taste to the beer. So if you missed our earlier Wednesday workshop, we talked about how good bamboo is as, as, is as a material and how you can use it for things like beer cups. So, cheers for joining. And um, I'll just have a zip of that. Okay, what I'm gonna to talk to you first is about our professional jig, okay? And I'm gonna explain how that works. And then I'm gonna then go to our simpler home build kit and explain a bit more how that works. So, the first step here, I've got our professional jig here. We've got our panel here, which is stainless steel, and then we've got aluminium pieces here. And just to explain how this works, so this is your head tube here with your fork coming here, so your front wheel will be here. And then over this side, we've got your rear wheel here, the bottom bracket, and so on. So imagine your bike frame in that picture. Okay, so we've got your seat tube here, head tube, top tube, down tube. The way this jig works is that we fit in our metal elements, so we fit in our bottom bracket which fits in here, and then we also fit in our head tube which fits in here. So we've got those things to set up first and that will give us our specification. The next key consideration to think about a jig is that we've got a couple of fixed points. We've got the head tube fixed points, we've got the seat tube, we've got the bottom bracket and we've got the drop hat holder. And what we need to do with those fixed points is make sure that each of them is at the right center line. So in this instance, it's gonna be 140 millimeters. And that is where you imagine the wheel spinning round. So this keeps everything aligned at fixed points. So all those three, all those fixed points here, we know that the frame's gonna be aligned. So if you're just joining, we're talking about jigs, I'm running through our professional jig, and then I'm gonna to run to our home build kit. So I'm just starting off with our more complex um, professional jig here, and I've just been explaining about the head tube, seat tube, bottom bracket, and drop out holder. So those are our fixed points. What we're looking for is that if you're sitting on the seat, this is perfectly aligned with the head tube. So these fixed points means that everything in our bicycle will align, all the bearings will turn, and so on. The next thing we've got here, you might notice here, we've got different angles. And if you've ridden different types of bikes, two examples that give good exaggerations are, if you've got a Dutch bike, you'll notice that the angles are really soft and they're very relaxed, and that's great for kind of pottering along, but if you hit a hill, it's, it's very relaxed, so you can't get a lot of power back into the pedals because it's very sloped back. And another example would be something like a track frame, which is all the angles are brought forward, and you can put a lot more power into the pedals. So with this jig, we can set all these different angles with these fittings here, okay? The final thing with our professional jig is that you can then adjust the head tube length or the top tube here, or reach, whichever you're more familiar with, by adjusting this side here. So we can adjust the head tube, and then we can also adjust the drop out for the chainstay length there. So with our professional jig, we can pretty much build any type of bicycle, and that's what we use in our workshop. And it can be used again and again and again and again, 
and, and we can build any type of frame. I'm going to move on next, so if you've just joined us, I'm talking about jigs. And what a jig is, is that it helps you build a bicycle safely and it makes sure the frames are lined. With those principles of our professional jig, I'm going to move on to our home build, which is a lot simpler and easy to set up for a, at home. So, I'm going to bring this board up here, okay? So this is our home build kit drawing. So when you get home, you lay this out on the board, and you can use an MDF, or you can use a plywood board, and then you can see the fixed points. Same principle as the professional jig. We've got one, two, three, four, five fixed points, okay? And all those fixed points are gonna keep the frame at the right extremities and the right height where we need them. So where the rear wheel fits in, where the front wheel and all the bearings will fit in here, and where the saddle will move here and the centre of the crank here, okay? So those five points are really important. We can do different things within here, and if we want to add additional tubes, whatever else we want to do, we can do that, so long as these five points are maintained, okay? Now, to very briefly explain how this jig works, we've got a block here, okay, that's going to fit into our board like so. And that is again set at a height. And height is paper is zero. So that represents zero. And anything above will be obviously a measurement. And what we've done with this block is we've set that center to be 140 millimeters. And that means that all the frame will be 140 millimeters, the center. So if I add in, for example, the seat tube, seat tube holder, also going to be 140 millimetres, okay? If I add in the head tube holder, it's also going to be 140 millimetres. And if I add in the head tube, like so, it will also be 140 millimetres for the centre of the head tube. Okay? If I add in the bottom bracket, you've guessed it, it's also going to be centred at 140 millimetres. If you know that measurement, you're able to check your bicycle and all the tubing and make sure that everything is centred in the jig. It's a very, very simple process. It's very simple to build with. You can see it's very easy to add these blocks in, and then you immediately can center all your bike frame around the jig. Equally, when you're doing the rear triangle, we know that it's gonna split, and you're gonna have a split diamond, and we know that the middle of the chain stays, or seat stays, needs to be 140 millimeters. By using that measurement, we can check the center of the frame and make sure that during the build, with a simple ruler, that everything is well aligned and everything is working. And then when we go to fit all the components, everything will work really well. So if you just joined me guys, I've run through how our professional jig works, the basic principles of our home build kit, and how you can set it up and check the measurements as you work at home. So, if you've got any questions, let me know. Strictus on Instagram, do you build your own head tubes? Your yes, tubes so, thanks for your question. Someone's just asked, do we make our own head tubes? So we actually get these manufactured in the UK, and we never found these at any standard bicycle supplier. So we actually manufacture them. And the reason why we manufacture them is because we add this really rough finish to the exterior of the tube, which is quite a costly process to do. But what it means is we get a lot more longevity out of the frame because the bonding process is much better. So all of our tubes, whether it's our bottom brackets, seat sleeves, we add this process to all of them. And the same as our tapered head tubes. So we manufacture all those tubes and therefore we get a lot better longevity and it's just something over the years of building 
we've thought you know this is the best way to do this process so that's why we've had to reach out design our own and manufacture our own um, as I said all of the, our standard tubes will fit into our jig and they're all designed to fit into the laser cut profiles on the other side of these inserts so you can see this our seat tube will fit perfectly into that and that will lock that in place and keep that centered so by controlling all the manufacture of the tubes and the jigs we can make sure that when you're building at home it's super simple and all you really need to do is get yourself a board lay our drawing on and then insert these blocks and it's very very quick to have a workable jig at home you don't need to spend loads of money or time you just need to understand the principle that all of these blocks will maintain a center point okay so thank you ever so much for joining us please tune into our other workshop wednesdays so they're on our igtv we've done sessions on bottle mounts we've done introduction to bamboo how to pick your bamboo for your frame so thank you ever so much for joining us and if you have got questions and if you're building at home we are running some video um, help so if you want to get in touch we'll do some video help with you and if you want to understand more about jigs please just email us we've spent i've spent the last 10 years trying to design simple jigs which i hope we've achieved and to make it a lot more accessible because I know that jigs cost anything from four to ten thousand. So our jigs are done super easy. So if you want to build at home, you can. Thanks again for tuning in and please get in touch via email with any questions. Thank you.